live from the WesternUnion.com VIP Lounge. Are you guys excited to see Dinah Jane? <laughs> Dinah, are you there? Dinah Jane. Dinah. Oh, Dinah. Come out wherever you are. Fifth Harmony's Dinah Jane. There she is. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Hi, Dinah. Of course there is. Oh, quit showing off. God. Oh, you wait, you know her name? Of course. Interesting. So I was just explaining that although we're seeing this worldwide, uh, in the Bay Area here, there's been a bit of a controversy. I yeah. think you're here to see me. She thinks you're here to see these losers. I mean, Harmon harmonizers. I mean, harmonizers. Me. Yeah, I get that confused. Losers. Har you guys know yes. I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Get him. Come on up here. Come on up. You want some? You know I'm kidding. Hugs. You want to hug Dinah Jane here? Uh, Everyone will get one other hug. I met you before. It's yeah, nice to see you again. Yeah, like make, make it quick, and then we got to start the interview. One more hug, Dinah. Right? Look okay. how he treats the harmonizer. Make it quick. Yeah. God. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, hey. This ain't a free-for-all. All right, Dinah, please come have a seat right here. I'll be next to her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, welcome, welcome Dinah. to the WesternUnion.com VIP lounge. Thanks for having me. I heard me. you guys have uh, it's like a new project. What is? Oh, the new album. Do we? Yes, you do. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. Uh -huh. I'm just kidding. Um, 727. Yeah, yes. it comes out on May 20th. I'm so excited. Yeah. We had what? like this whole break this um, winter, so we're like, dude, let. We, it's because we were working on the album, and then the mm -hmm. song came out, and we were so surprised. Well, it was a huge success that you guys didn't find out about the song because our fans are so good at catching on on what's about <laughs> to be released before it comes out. I, uh, like five minutes ago, you called them losers, and now they're. No, we I, call them you. losers. I'm we're kidding. not losers. I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> what track on there were you like, oh my god, I love this song? I'm dying to tell you one of my favorite tracks, but I'm not able. Too. Oh, you can't um, even say a title. I can't even say a title. Okay. Can but you like I'll hum the melody? Like. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> work, work, work. Does that help? Just kidding. Um, um, no, actually. Um, okay. There's this one song that I really, really connect to. It's a part where we really sing. This song was supposed to make it on a reflection album, and so we were really depressed because we. That's how attached we were to the song that we made sure it came to this one. Um, it's something very, something that was very attached to all five of us. Um, we really really love this song it's very like ballady but it's somewhat rhythmic at the same time so it's very different so i've That's been in awesome. this business 150 years i know Almost i look 200. like it i'm the old guy <laughs> but what i've seen on occasion is uh, a group uh, of artists get together and you're in the studio and then like don is like that should be my verse and then <laughs> I'm the yes. other person's like no that's my <laughs> verse and then you guys got to go scrap in the parking lot has that happened a little bit it happens all the time oh, it it's like when Seriously? it comes to your favorite song Song, and then they're like, oh, dang, I want that part. But then another girl comes in and takes it. But she sings it well, you know? But how long but do you hang on to that? Are you like at Jack this. in the Box going, I swear to God, that was... <laughs> That was mine. Kind of holding on to it. it. Um, no, I think you just have the opportunity to go sing it in your room after you hear her voice. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, you you just get off stage it. after yeah. the concert. I'll sing it better. I was like, just give me an instrumental. I'll sing it real quick. I'm By the scared. way, is it weird being here without the other girl? Oh, I keep like licking the mic. Get away from me. What are you <laughs> Sorry. doing? She wants me. She's no, just I pretending. <laughs> Is it weird being here without the other girls, like doing interviews? Yeah. It honestly is, especially when you're used to being with girls by your side, four other girls by your side for like almost four years now. And it's the first time we've ever separated doing interviews on our own. Is this so the first time? Yeah. It's the first time. So there's yeah. um, Allie's in the East Coast, Monty's, Monty's in the South, Lauren's basically back at home in her hometown. Yeah. Me too, because I'm on the West Coast. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then Mila's in the mid. I'm in the middle of yeah. the country. <laughs> I'm going to throw this out, and I'm just, I want you to respond to it. I've been hearing it. I've been saying it. I, there's a lot of people that say, and again, I've said it, that this is the next Beyonce right here. Yeah. I'm actually really choking. Um, the <laughs> fact that you put me, you're comparing me to Beyonce is so I, unreal. I mean, no, we want you guys to stay together as a group, but, you know, there will be times you're like, oh, let me have a little fun over here. I'm not mm -hmm. saying Beyonce in the sense of leave your girls behind, oh, but, yeah. but how does it feel that people are comparing? Pairing. I'm just saying like that, yeah. that they're going... Beyonce in the making. Just, yeah, just everything about you, that she's just this next major star. I always find it unreal when people compare me to her. Well, she's always been my idol, and I've always looked up to her when I was younger. She was actually my only my 
only first idol. And then it became Mariah Carey, of course. Um, but it's definitely an honor for people to even compare me to such a queen. Um, I don't know why, but <laughs> it's so it's really oh, amazing so sweet. for you guys to compare me to her. I love her. And by the way, you guys, I wasn't, I'm not trying to break up with Harmony. I wasn't saying that. You, you guys, you caught what I'm saying, right? Okay. So um, will it just be music? Or I, I know that uh, when I first met you, you were 14 years old. I was 13 going on 14. 14. You were 13? Yeah. Okay, I so met this I little shy. I have this rundown because JV okay. is someone very, very special to me. I'm like about to cry right now. Aww. Um, when I was, um, Great job. You made her cry. <laughs> this is a touching moment, though. <laughs> When I was 13, 14, um, I was trying to find any door or any door that can open for me. Um, and so my auntie, she's such a huge fan of your radio station. She's from here, from the Bay. And she kept blowing up your notifications, I believe, on Facebook or something. And she was just like, oh, my gosh, Javi, you have to listen to my niece. Please check out my niece. And a huge thanks to her for blowing it up. <laughs> and say your name really um, quick. Her name is Ofa Manu. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Ofa means love. So I really, really, she's my favorite auntie. Mm -hmm. um, she reached out to you. And, um, of course, you came down to L.A. And he came down only in these, he only had five minutes. And so he's like, yeah, I'll come down, check you out. And um, he came over and I sang to him this one song it was called halo mm -hmm. and it was an acoustic cover something really quick and at that time i was super super shy but he came up to me and he gave me some wide wor wise words um something i ha i hold on to to this day and so thank you for that it was about yeah. me being confident and of course when you're 14 you're so shy and you don't know like you love to sing that was my escape but i didn't really I couldn't really find myself at the time. I knew what I loved, but I couldn't really find, I didn't know what I wanted. And so at the time, he, you really, really inspired me with those words. So thank oh, you. Thank you for saying that. I remember. Yeah. Oh, and thanks to him because X Factor was the reason why they, they found the video. I don't know if you guys know. Do you guys the know the story? So what um, happened was I got this video oh. from Santa Jane. I posted it. <laughs> Simon Cowell saw my video and was like, this girl needs to be on X Factor. So there's two so parts that I remember. Up. I remember telling Dinah Jane, although this powerful voice she was so shy almost not speaking and i was like you you have to know what you have you are meant to sing in this world be confident and with your interviews with your voice and stuff like that and we we stayed in contact uh and then i also said i put it online and i said is there a producer anyone someone take her to the next step and simon saw it and yeah then you got discovered from there so that's that. very awesome. And then so. 727. Yeah. Oh. Well, Y'all so, know what happened. But now there's, what about acting? Are you interested? Or was that all an act? Yeah. That was an act. <laughs> <laughs> I did pretty well, That right? was it. Come on. Comes with tears. Well, there were um, reports that you, you had auditioned or something for a, a Disney movie. I did audition for a Disney so movie. Well, do you want to do movies? I really, really want to. I actually went to performing arts school, so I did take acting classes. Um, I did musical theater. And I was trying so hard to go commercial voice because I wanted to go sing some actual songs. I was like, I don't want to sing some musical theater and go like, oh, and all that. It wasn't my <laughs> thing. And then I'm glad that I actually took the class because now I can use that. Um, it was definitely an experience for me to step out of my comfort zone. But yeah, I actually auditioned for a voiceover for this princess movie called Princess Moana. And that was the first thing I've ever done in my career was go out of my way and try something outside of my box. Um, but congrats to the girl who won i mean who got the part um her she's from hawaii and i'm so i'm just really really happy that a polynesian girl of course has got the wor got the role of such a beautiful princess how important is that to you to say i'm a voice for polynesian and, and many other yeah. girls where maybe you didn't think there was an opportunity if i inspire you then that's part yeah. of why i'm here of course i feel like i kind of know now of why I'm in this position now. I feel like um, Polynesians, of course, I don't know if you guys know, we're from the South Pacific, this small little island. Um, we come from a small little town and um, for me to be an identity for another Polynesian girl is amazing because when I was growing up, I didn't really have uh, an artist to relate to because none of us really try or go out of our way and try to go mainstream or try to represent. So um, I tried my best. I finally figured out like oh you know i could probably be this i'm i'm actually a barbie doll now for another polynesian girl and i never thought ever in my life that would ever happen so by the I'm way nervous. you guys can tell i'm a, the ken doll <laughs> <laughs> the hairless ken doll a little bit 
<laughs> no. At first, I didn't know what a Ken doll was. Oh, you didn't? Um, so one of the girls were announcing, like, oh, so Dinah, what Ken doll would you want? I was like, uh. a Ken doll? Is that another girl? <laughs> <laughs> now, Selena said she wanted to go a tiny bit personal. I said, hey, don't go too far. What do you want to talk about? Well, she... No. Hold on. No. Hold on. Okay, try it. What's the the boy uh, situation? Are you dating? Uh, Hope. Okay. <laughs> any is there any uh, boyfriend or? Uh, no. no. Are you interested in having one? I'm not really. I've I've honestly been just focusing on myself. I think um, all of us girls are taking in that moment to just love ourselves first. That's uh, so important. That's a great. It's really message. important, yeah. of course. Love yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, JB, for coming out with that song. Cause <laughs> it's so hard. Um, but yeah, we've been we've been taking the moment to just love ourselves because we get so caught up in s other people loving us when we don't even love ourselves first. Wow. And I feel like I figured that out myself. I was also not so confident like you like you've known. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and so I've taken in the time to even just look at myself and be like. How about you love yourself first before anyone yeah. else does? That is awesome. Yeah. You guys, although Selena called you losers, I that think I think <laughs> you guys you. harmonizers are uh, amazing. I just want to uh, just again say it, it's been uh, such a pleasure to meet you. Your family, give say your mom's, your dad's Gordon, say your mom's name. I always mention your dad, but yeah, because my mom's name is kind of hard. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom's name is Milika. And you guys are all such a sweet family, like, and I know how much you love one another, and I'm, I'm just so, so, so happy for you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, what message do we want to give out about the album? Do we want people in line at stores? There's only a couple <laughs> stores, but online, what? <laughs> 727. Do they sell albums like that? 727. A couple stores. You can actually pre-order it right Oh, you now. can? Oh. Yeah, you, you can. can pre you can oh, pre-order. pre-order. Okay. I've been forgetting to mention it. <laughs> This whole time. See, I'm a pro, though. <laughs> it's my a fault. pro would have reminded you fault. like me. It's yeah. my fault. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, you can pre-order the album right now, 727. This number is so special to us because we were formed on this day. Yeah. We came out of the womb. <laughs> <laughs> Mom was pushing. I'm just kidding. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> pushing five girls out. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 727 was when we were formed on X Factor. Um, such a special moment for us, historical moment for us. Yeah. yeah. Um, we were we weren't even actually called Fifth Harmony at the moment, but our name came out came out somehow because America named us. Um, but this number is very special, especially because Lauren 27 is her favorite number. So okay. she included. She's like, guys, can we just put 27 in there? Come on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So we did for Lauren as well. So. So how do people uh, pre-order or get the harmonizers and yeah. beyond? It's ordered. Oh, you it's guys have ordered. Order. Okay. I love her. I love you guys. Oh my gosh. Please uh, honestly, come over here and explain how this works. You want yeah, to come, come on. Here, come please. Help me. Yeah. All right. You want to have a sit? A sit. Have a seat. A, you want to have a sit? Hey, come have a sit. Okay. All right. Explain how this works. How how does 727 the pre-ordering work? Wait, can I sit on your lap, Dinah? Can she sit, sit on your lap? Can I sit on my lap? Let's get it. Oh, okay. Let's get it. Can I sit on your oh, Can I get this lap? Look. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm really Whoa. Let me make some I'm kind of heavy, but. I have a lot of family at home, so this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> so All right. So pre-ordering, how did you do it? So all I did was I just went on Dinah's Twitter, and there is a link oh. pinned on her Twitter. Wow. All you have to do is click it. <laughs> it'll open up to iTunes. I'm being dead serious. Uh -huh. You open you iTunes, are. <laughs> you click pre-order, and it's done. You scan your fingerprint. That's it. It's get over. Your Work from home, you get it. Get automatically. that promo, girl. I, oh my God. I should be your new promotion manager. Honestly, <laughs> um, just hire me. So thank you so much. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And then, uh, you guys, we have to allow Dinah to walk back there and so we get uh, all your photos and stuff like that. So you have to let her up. My, my <laughs> oh, this is going to be tough. <laughs> Security. <laughs> with the, uh, what's that thing we tap them on the head with? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. No, just a little donk. <laughs> and they're out for like five minutes. You leave and they go, I didn't. Yeah. Oh my God. So, Dinah, uh, stand on up here again. Love you so much. Dinah Jane of Fifth Harmony, everyone.